Hello everyone, Abby here, Purple Cottage Crafts, and welcome back to another video here on my channel. I am in the garage, so I apologize if there's any echoey going on. So what you guys are looking at are the supplies and fabrics and all the kind of goodies that I'm going to be taking with me this weekend to the Coastal Crop in Gold Beach, Oregon. I've been going to this for well over a decade, minus a couple years uh, when I had brain surgery and then we lived in Florida. Um, I missed, I think, two years there. But I'm really excited because I get to see all of my crafty girlfriends there. And Cindy, the main one, she is one of my best friends. I actually was her nurse. She was a doctor I worked for for, goodness, six, seven years, something like that. And then we, she and I just became really good friends. And so we've been really good friends for, gosh, 19 years, something like that. And then I met some other ladies when Cindy moved to Medford, Oregon. And those are the ladies I'm going to be seeing because I've known them for like 10, 11 years, somewhere around there, maybe closer to 12. So they become my friends as well. And I just love them and I miss them because I only get to see them about once a year when I still lived in Oregon anyway. They don't have a lot of the different crops they used to have when scrapbook stores, brick and mortar were still going. And unfortunately, you know, those have pretty much gone by the wayside. So we are leaving on Wednesday and I will be in Gold Beach from Thursday through Sunday. And then we're going to stay in Oregon for another week. So I won't probably have this up until probably it might be even when I get back. I'm not sure because I'm not taking my laptop with me. I have done that in years past and I never take the time to edit videos because I'm so busy gabbing with everybody, which is the purpose of me going as well. So some of you might be like, uh, that is a lot of stuff. And no, it's not. <laughs> Let me tell you, if any of the ladies uh, watching here or gentlemen too were like, you know, old school scrapbookers and we would go to different crops, they call them, or scrapbook retreats, scrapping weekends. For our thing, it's the coastal, you know, crop getaway. There are lots of people who brought way more than this. Some people probably two times or three times as much. I'm not even exaggerating. And my wagon, which is outside, so you've got, has it folded up for me. And you can laugh if you want to, but I bought one of the wagons after I'd seen for several years, some of the older ladies that had them. And I was like, I was like, oh, that's a really good idea. And since I've had brain surgery, I'm not supposed to lift more than 10 pounds or put any kind of pressure or strain on my head. So I use the wagon and I love it. So I bought that at Walmart, just like a utility outdoor type wagon, I think. One of the gals there, she has a purple one. And I was like, what? And I couldn't find purple. And since I have a black one, I'm not going to purchase a second one unless Steve wants to take that one for whatever he wants to use it for. So anyway, so I will be putting these items that you see here into these two totes that have the yellow lid like that from you know Costco. I have a third one. I mean, I can take as many of these as I want because we're going to put them in the bed of the truck. I think I might need three just because of some of the other things I have, but you know, two for sure. And then once, so this is how they're going to travel to Oregon. Now, of course, the my rolly tote here will stay like it is. This bag here, I'm going to try to put it into inside the pickup truck if I can, because I need that stuff in that bag. It's got like my larger cutting mats and you know my ironing board that kind of stuff and let's see and then when we I get when we get to Oregon I will be driving myself from my mother-in-law's house to the event which is about a four and a half hour drive which will be fine let's see so uh, I'll be so that way I can take everything out of those totes and then put everything into the car just like that and it'll be fine I have an extra one of these Montana bags I got from Costco last year I have an extra one in there so I can put you know some of these things in there if I need to to get them into the car and then when I get there I can start unloading all of these containers into my wagon and wheel it into my area so I started to show you guys me going through my things and what I was going to take and that video got to be so long and I wasn't even a quarter the way through. I'm such a gabber as you guys know. So I'm just going to kind of briefly show you what I'm taking. I'm not going to show you everything because again I would take forever and I'm trying to use, you know, I'm using my handheld tripod so I, it's hard for me to open things with just one hand. So down here is like all kinds of different ephemera and this next one here, uh, like, you know, tickets and things like that. Uh, what's this one? What is that one? Oh, that one is just full of some vintage fabrics in there. This one has, I guess I could have turned them to the side. This one has some different sewing notions in it. Some, you know, like balls of old crochet thread, just some more sewing things. And then this one, as you can see, hopefully has like old uh, piano roll papers in there. I think three or four different ones. And then I have the different collage papers from Timmy. And then I have some crepe paper in there. And then down here, this has all of my inks and my ink blocks. What else do I have in there? I'm trying to look down here and see. 
Yeah, I think oh, like my ink blending tools and things like that are in there. And this next one, that is some fall fabric. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying my best to look and hold this, and I'm like completely off what I'm trying to show you. So I have prepared a couple project boxes before we made the move to our new house when we were living in the cabin just to kind of make it easier because I'm going to be set up in the garage here temporarily until we get the shop remodeled for my craft studio. So I already had a couple of these packed, which was great. So this is like some different fall fabrics because those are some journals I've already been started and working working on. And then here are some more uh, vintage linens and kind of neutrals, things like that. This one has all of my stamps and, oops, sorry you guys, has all of my stamps and stencils that I'm bringing. Not all of them, of course. And where did I put, oh, that one for the tree. And in here I have, what do I have in here? Oh, like my glasses and then my different binder clips that I use when I'm, you know, opening pages to do different things. My, that white bottle is what I use for when I iron. Have to bring my little purple dusty thing. <laughs> so just all kinds of stuff. My different thimbles and things like that. And I got extra needles in a bag on the very bottom of this one. And then here is another one that I have prepared before we made the move. This is some more kind of like basic tools and one of my rulers and my rotary trimmer, things like that for and some of the threads that I'm taking in there, embroidery floss, I should say. I have more than what's in there, but that's what's in that one. Okay, so what I have in this Montana bag here are all kinds of different papers. Steve is just getting back, so you might hear the truck call this video. I have like, you know, vintage uh, music paper, coffee dyed papers, all kinds of ephemera, some old book covers, and some beautiful yummy stuff from old books. Just all kinds of papers and things are in here. And usually I bring about twice that much, honestly. Uh, let's see. And here I have some of my cabbage bits from, which is what I call, well, I didn't come up with the name, of course. It's a Victorian saying. For small scraps of fabric, they call it uh, cabbage. So my larger scraps are in the bottom. This one has the medium size. This one has a handful of the small. And then this is just an assortment of laces that I'm taking with me in that container. And in this one, I have the different embossing folders, uh, whether it be 3D, just your regular kind, some of my different Timmy dies and thinlets, and then I have my some of my cutting pads and stuff in here. So that's what's in that one. And I have also my tools to get some of the pieces of paper and fabric out of the, some of the intricate dies. Okay, so since I'm old, <laughs> it's hurting my back to pin down. So these are two of my little travel tabletop totes. The one here on the right is kind of like all my mixed media stuff paints and you know brushes and whatnot and this one is a combination of like my different tools and uh, this container right there has some rubbing alcohol in it my gloves that I wear right there because I have um, problems with my thumb and my wrist and stuff when I'm stitching and then I have like adhesives in there my extra phone cable just stuff like that and then here we have my vagabond okay and what's in this one here are my different cutting pads glass self-healing i have my wool ironing mat i have my larger uh june i think it's june taylor uh it's like a cutting mat on one side and then it's a ironing pad on the other so what you see in this container right here with the blue that is one of my blue journals i haven't done a flip through of that yet but i want it and it's already sold but i wanted to take it with me so i can show some of my girlfriends because they're not quite sure like what a junk journal is or making a journal using vintage ephemera book covers things like that so you guys will see a flip through that pretty soon when we get back from our trip because i have to get this in the mail to give it to renelle so and down here i have my iron my different extension cords that's my purple's painters tape which i use to take my cords down on the floor so nobody trips my heat tools are in there and i think that might be all oh, and then my wood cutting boards i use that when i'm drying different things when i coffee dye or use paints or sprays or whatever and then there's my extra bag and then here's my fan because I'm always hot. Gotta love menopause. So there's that. Are you shocked by all this purple? <laughs> so this is my stitching pillow that I made. And then in here is just all kinds of different threads and flosses, some different types of uh, laces. I have this container here. Sorry, I wanted to zoom out. The only thing about this one that drives me nuts is this doesn't stay up, but I don't, it bugs me. But that's okay, I've had this thing for probably 15 years. And I just have a, you know, I just dumped in some white buttons, vintage ones, and I have some wood ones, oops, sorry, in the corner there. And then these are different containers of metal bits, uh, different types of rusty items that I've done. And this one here, that's on its side, this has, let's see, like my different eyelets and things like that. And then I have a selection of some like rusty nails, bottle caps, stuff like that that I forged from um, the neighbor's property. So that's what's in there. 
So that's it everybody. These are the goodies that I'm taking with me to the Coastal Crop. Now, whenever I still lived in Oregon and I had all of my stuff with me, I would take more than what you're seeing. And the reason there are so many different like mini smaller totes is because all of my other different, you know, rolly carts that I have and different storage, larger containers and bags, those are all in Oregon. So I have to just kind of use what I was able to find and what I had other things stored in, and it's worked out perfectly. So when I get to the crop, I'm gonna be doing some vloggy bits while I'm there, as long as the ladies are comfortable with that. I won't, you know, show their faces if they don't want to. So when I get there, you're gonna see that this is really nothing compared to how much these ladies really bring. It's so cool, you guys. I've just had such a wonderful time when I've been before, and I'm so excited that I was able to make it this year. With what quite sure it's due to Steve's busy work schedule because he flies and travels a lot for work and with us living in Montana that's kind of a long drive for me to make by myself it's about 11 hours and um, I mean I could do it if I had to but you know I prefer not to if I don't have to do that so it was either an option of where we were gonna drive like we are which worked out great or I was the possibility of me flying and if that was the case I could not take even three quarters of what you're seeing here and I was like oh I don't want to have to just take a small amount because I like to have a lot of options and choices and stuff but I would have done that just so I didn't miss it but it worked out where I didn't have to do that so that's good so I'll also be showing you guys I'll do some footage of the beach I'm so excited about going on to the Oregon coast living in Montana I don't have an ocean around me obviously I was born and raised in Oregon so I've always been on you know the west coast and then when we lived in Florida for a few years you know we lived on the beach there we were close to Daytona Beach and so I love the ocean I love going hunting for seashells walking in the sand and all that kind of stuff so in years past I've done little videos showing you guys like from our room on the balcony and then also from down on the beach so I'll be doing some more of those as well probably maybe more Instagram stories possibly or reels and all of my social media links are in the description box below I'm purple cottage crafts everywhere so you know website Instagram YouTube obviously uh, Gmail that kind of stuff but it's in the description box if you need it so if you're not following me there or you're not subscribed to me here on YouTube and you want to see some of these really cool little you know ocean clips and things like that I'm gonna share with you guys uh, go ahead and follow and subscribe that way you'll be notified as soon as I upload some things. So I'm going to try my best to stay in touch with you while I'm gone and I'll kind of give more detail about what the crop entails once I get there and just kind of show you guys how they set the tables up really cute. All the meals are provided um, in with the costs, the rooms as well. I'm room with one of my girlfriends and it's just going to be a great time and I'm so excited. All right, so I'm going to quit chatting at you guys and I'm going to get everything put into these totes, possibly three like I mentioned, and then have them stacked over there by the door. So when we leave at like four o'clock in the morning tomorrow, <laughs> Steve can just throw the stuff in the back of the truck and we can get going. So all right guys, I hope you enjoy this and I will talk with you soon. Bye!